Hi guys and welcome back to Rags to Richards. I'm Lauren and today's video is me setting my 2020 goals. I've wrote about two pages. Only little pages with a lot on it. <laughs> um, so if you've just watched my um, 2019 goals, yes, they sucked. And sometimes if you fail, it makes you want to work harder at them next time. And that is how I'm actually feeling this year. That's how I really do feel about things. Oh my gosh, my mouth's so dry. So happy new year, I don't even know if I've just said that or not. But yeah, I'm holding it like a Bible. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got things. So I'm gonna go through the categories. So if I said that, I don't know. Uh, fitness. Wedding, the house, my skin, um, life goals, YouTube goals, and eBay goals. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Um, okay, fitness. Are you ready for this, guys? Um, I wanted to do a workout plan. I have done a workout plan, um, but I've only done it for January. I've, I'm already failing on it. But I'm, I, I wrote a lot down for what sort of workout stuff I need to do uh, for January. Um, I am working out every day. I'm moving a lot more. So that's great. I'm looking at it as a positive. Um, but I'm not doing everything on the workout plan list that I have done. So I am kind of already failing, but I'm still moving. So I'm still, I'm not, I've not totally given up. I can't give up because the next one I need to get in my dress, my wedding dress. Um, yeah, I fit in it, it zips up, she buttons it up. The buttons are too tight. So it's a zip and then it's like buttons um, at the back. And it is tight, it's really tight. It, and you know when sometimes when a woman's wearing a dress and it's too tight on the back, she gets like that line, like that fat line. Now I've got a little bit of that. Um, when I went to try on dresses, you know, to pick out my dress, I was eight stone three pounds. And when I went to try the dress on that I'd ordered in a size six, I was eight stone 13 pounds. So I just need to lose 10 pounds. It's not that hard. It's just basically me letting go in 2019, being a free spirit with a lot of junk food and neglecting my body, not exercising. So it's achievable. <laughs> um, I wrote on here by weighing scales, I have done that, they are on the way so that I can document me working out and basically fitting in that frigging dress. <laughs> um, yeah, next one is getting get to eight stone three pounds, which I've just said, so that's I need to get to. I want to have thinner arms. Okay, you guys, okay. So if I do that, it doesn't look so bad, but when I do that, it checks a bit. It's just one of the little things. Um, have thinner thighs, not, my, oh my God, I can't even really explain this. I don't really want to stand up, my work stuff. <laughs> uh, so when I mean thin thighs, I just mean like a little bit thinner than what they are, are now. I don't mean like, like thin, thin. I just want them a little bit thinner than what they are now. And then for some reason I've wrote, maybe a six pack. Was I drunk writing this? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, that is a, that. Yeah, I'm pushing it with that one. Um, I think I might have wrote that one because I thought, right, I'm gonna be in like bridezilla mode as soon as it's January. Um, so I might be pushing myself, and I might get a six pack. I think that might be that reason behind that one. Um, okay, so that's all fitness done. Um, now we're on to the wedding. Um. I wanted to look at my finances and see how much is left to pay of the wedding. Um, and there isn't that much. And um, when I meant by looking at my finances, it's my partner's finances. Um, there'll be a video coming out this year about wedding finances. Not going to the bank and wedding finances. I just mean like you actually saving up for a wedding yourself without anyone's help. Like we've done. Um, so yeah, I've done that. I've looked it over and checked everything and I'm happy with it. So that's been ticked up. 
um, I need to find a makeup artist and a car service. Now I found the car service. Um, the car service is basically like a chauffeur company. Now, me and my partner aren't bothered about these fancy cars and these Rolls Royces and bloody Ferraris and whatever else, horse and car. <laughs> um, so we just, I just said, let's just get a chauffeur service. Um, you know, like a nice Mercedes or something. Um, I think it was 140 one way. And then I think they said for a return on the evening from the venue to the hotel, because it's not the, the venue isn't a hotel, it's a golf club. Um, I think they said they wanted an extra £110. I was like, no, I'll just get a taxi. I'm not bothered. <laughs> no one's going to judge me for that one, to be honest. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Makeup artist I still need to find. Um, I went to a wedding, I think it was the 28th of December, um, and her makeup looked beautiful. And I think I've wrote down when I'm going to message her and ask her when, ask her who did the makeup, and then possibly just book a makeup trial um, and see how she does my face. Because honestly, I'm like this close to actually finding. Um, well, not even finding, actually doing it my bloody self. Um, the last makeup artist I had do my face <laughs> uh, was for, what was it for? My engagement shoot. Like, I'll insert a picture here to show you how, like, different I look. And, like, can you see? I look like a vampire. Like, I look like something out of Vampire Diaries. Yeah, I might look really nice, but compared to this... Doesn't sit right. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like that close to doing it myself. And you can see why. Um, send all my invitations out. I've done quite a lot of invitations actually already. Um, I'm, I wanted to get it all done in January. And I'm quite close. Um, I'm sorry, oh, and I've wrote on here, buy all stuff. I think it's because I reviewed what my 2019 stuff is. Um, so basically I, just, I think I need to get an order of the day oh gosh what else do I need to get tablecloths because I'm not using the venue tablecloths because that's not what I want um, that might be it I'm not entirely sure um, obviously I have to buy all stuff because it'll just go all tits up if not next one next category the house okay um, I want to get my fence fixed outside because it's we've had a fence panel down for a year now and I need to get that fixed. In fact, it got broken because if anyone remembers 2019, the beast from the east blew my fence down. Just one panel, but I still haven't fixed it and the dog keeps running in and out of next door's neighbour and pooing in the next door's gate, the garden. It needs, it needs to get fixed. <laughs> yeah, so it's on my list. B and Q, I'm coming for you. Oh my god, that rhymes! <laughs> okay, sad moment over. Let's get into it. Um, uh, look in. I've wrote on here. Look into getting a new pit. When when I mean pit, uh, we have a small box room and we call it the pit because it it's my partner's Xbox room and we just call it the pit. Um, I think we call it that because he literally stays in there for hours on end and sweats in there like a a box, a sweat box, so we call it the pit, as in like a mining pit, because it's so hot down in mines. Um, so yeah, I've, I have actually looked into it, I think I know what I want, join us coming tomorrow, very excited. Um, aha, so this is one I failed on last year, it, I think it, my, what was it for last year, I've got it here, the first one, uh, clean more, uh, only one day a week that I don't clean, that was 2019 goals, so I have done a cleaning schedule. Um, I'm actually going to do a video about this, so I'm not going to say any more about that. Um, next one is finishing the landing and the hallway. George is coming tomorrow. He's not coming to do it. He's coming to give me a quote and measurements and stuff. All the boring stuff. I want it finished. <laughs> um, I don't know why I wrote this. I wrote down, take the decor down. Um, I mean the Christmas decorations. Now I have done it. I've ticked it off. I think it was because it was like the point of when are you going to take it down? 
it's been up for two months already um so yeah that's been done so i'm happy about that one <laughs> um and i also want to repaint the landing in the hallway um kids monkey fingers dog monkey paws me my partner they just we need to be painting in there so what a mess okay so the next category is my skin my skin looks okay here but actually i've got a spot right on the end of my nose like in my nostril you know that little bit there and it's one of them painful ones so anyway so skin um i wanted to do a skin routine i have done it but i haven't totally stick to it yet i'm doing quite a lot at once here so some things are going to give um also on my skin one i want to stop smoking because i noticed when i did stop smoking my skin got a lot better um died drastically a lot better so um i normally smoke about five no sorry i normally smoke about six to seven a day um and wanting to get that down to three to four and then after i've got i've like managed and stuck to three to four i am wanting to do possibly like two to three and then i'll like stop um i think that is the best thing for me um also i want to do teeth whitening because of obviously cigarette and tea that stains it a lot and i have a that is like the majority of stuff um i have ordered a teeth whitening kit and it's coming um i would have it done professionally but it's like 600 no i think it's 300 on the nhs dentist um and i'm only i've only wrote it down and wanting to do it for the wedding so um i'll just make sure i have some uh sensitive toothpaste so that i don't get sensitive to teeth um, so that I don't ruin the enamel on my teeth basically so yeah that's that one and I also need to get tanned for the wedding um, so I need to start going to the sunbed shop now I don't like tanning I like having a tan don't get me wrong it makes me feel nice and confident and I like putting fake tan on but I do not want to wear fake tan on the wedding day and have like weird hands and weird elbows and like a dodgy armpit going off um or like it going all patchy i don't want the stress of that i'd rather just tr tan <laughs> and i'm i'm not one of these people who like sits out in the sun all day um so it's not so bad um okay so we're on to the next page now um uh life goals i've not even reviewed this bit um okay um i want to get a proper bedtime now i'm not talking about my three-year-old i'm talking about myself <laughs> i can be up at midnight in fact it is midnight right now guys um so i want to get a proper bedtime and with that i also want to wake up at a normal time the, i am so bad at going to sleep no I can drop off to sleep at any time, any time. I could sleep on a washing line, honestly. My partner is so amazed how much, how quick and how easy I fall asleep. And he, he doesn't have sleep problems or anything like that. He's just like, you're lazy. But I'm like, I'm not, I'm tired, <laughs> I just fall asleep. Um. So yeah, with me going to like bed late, I had to get up late, I'm always late. I'm always late, I'm always late, I'm always late. <laughs> so I want to get that fixed and I want to wake up at a normal time. Um, I do set alarms. I'm one of these people who has, who has like 10 alarms for everything. It's ridiculous. Um, and even then when I've, I'm, I'm, I am still don't listen to them. I, t I turn them off in my sleep. I'm a nightmare. So that is something I really want to fix. <laughs> it's actually got that bad where if I've got 20 minutes to get out of the house, I can get up, say it's a school run, I've got 20 minutes to get dressed, to get my, my little man dressed, make sure he has breakfast and be out the door and be off to school basically and to work in 20 minutes. Like I've got that down and I don't want that. I'd rather just have a chilled morning, you know, an hour or so. Now, <laughs> it's 20 minutes. <laughs> 
so bad. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I want to drink more water or tea. Um, with the exception, we don't buy, me and my partner do not buy fizzy pop when we go supermarket, supermarket shopping. We only have fizzy pop when we have a takeaway. Um, so I'm not going to be drinking any like fruit juice, dilute juice, or well, smoothies is okay, I suppose every like a little treat, but all I want to have is water or tea. Now, if it's a special occasion, it just goes out the window. <laughs> like everything else, it just goes out the window. So, um, yeah, that's that is important to me, especially the more water. I do have like a giant water bottle that I take to work with me every day. In fact, I'm going to fill this up, fill it up when I finish this video for tomorrow. Um, I want to eat healthier. I've already started eating healthier. I'm feeling great. My stomach is not bloated at the minute. Um, I think it's on like. I didn't start on the first, started on the second, um, so it's been like eight days, something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, and also last year's goal was also to um, stop, <laughs> to just have one takeaway a week. It, it was laughable last year, um, and we're actually sticking to it so far, so good. So yeah, <laughs> um. um so that's my life goals and now we are moving on to YouTube. Hello guys. Um, okay, so I wanted to start a journal, a YouTube journal, um, get better editing. And I wanted to oh start a YouTube journal for ideas. I've like jumbled up everything on this list. Um, yeah, and also better editing, and I think I have cracked that. There's going to be a video very soon about that, so I'm quite happy about that one. Um, I want to upload every week. Now, I know I haven't been on since December, November, November, and I'm very sorry, but... <sighs> sorry. YouTube was the last priority in December because I was working so much overtime, I was trying to get orders out on time for Christmas. You know, there was a lot of stuff going on. So, yeah, I want to upload every week. Uh, yeah, and I also want... Oh, and a war... get a wall schedule going. So, I want to write down all my ideas, um, write when it's going out, and then stick it on the wall so I see it every day, and I'm not going to forget about you guys. <laughs> Okay, what time is it? Because I think my partner might be coming home. Okay, we're fine. Um, so the next one is eBay. I said best till last. Um, I want to get my eBay. So my eBay listings for a while have been, like my eBay listing goal has been 450 listings. Like I've, sm I've got to that a few times. But then I just let it creep down and I don't keep pulling it back up. Um, so I want to get to 600 listings um, and try and maintain it at that. So I think it's very, very doable. Um, within the next 12 months, that doesn't seem like a big... It's only... Oh, I think it's an extra like 170 listings to do. Because I think I'm on like... 430 something um i'm not entirely sure about that one um so yeah it's a lot it is a lot but it is achievable if i put my mind to it um i want to get more christmas stock for 2020 christmas um so what i mean by that is like gift sets and stuff my nose is running i swear to god if i get another cold So yeah, I want to get more gift sets and stuff like that and you know a bit more like Christmassy stuff like Christmas socks and stuff like that so I'm going to be looking, I'm sorry I'm just like staring in the corner, um, yeah I want to, because I, it was so good, this was like the best Christmas I've had, I've been doing like eBay properly for a year but like the year before um, wasn't so great so compared to this Christmas it's been amazing. Um, so yeah, I want to capitalise on that and I don't, I think I'm going to go for like small 
gift items um i'm doing this gift items <laughs> Um, the sort of stuff like you buy from Boots, you know, like the stocking filler stuff. I feel like that would go extremely well. Um, so yeah, enough about that. Also, I want to get more school coats for September. So once, I do believe once, you know, winter's over and like the bit of the, the like wintry spring chill has gone, people will be getting rid of their children's coats and probably just donating it, you know, like the spring clean and that. Um, so hopefully I can pick up some children's coats I'm, I'd probably say in between like 5 and 10 school coats um, I'll be aiming for um, with that one so yeah so that'll be like for September, October that sort of time school coat wise um, I want to take I want to retake some photos of some of my old stock so probably some of my women's vintage items i think that needs doing and possibly a few of my items that need you know just to take a re a new picture of it better light a bit bit better quality on the picture um just to get people drawn in um so yeah i need to do that um it probably won't be for like all of it it'll just be like a few bits of bobs that are just like yeah this needs redoing um just a general quick once over look that sort of thing and I also the big one is I want to make 55 pound a day um now I haven't really thought that one through so like so much um I don't know whether I want that to be 55 pound a day from like all of my jobs all of my income sources um or whether I just want that to be eBay. Deep down, I really want that just to be eBay um, than my actual normal job because the, the dream is to do eBay full time. Um, it, would not, it, it would be nice to look at that in a year's time and see, and you know, like work out the average of like my daily like profit. Well, not even profit, I don't even know if I've done that as profit or not. I don't know, I don't really think that one through, guys. Help. I don't know. Help me. <laughs> um, you know what, one day I'll get there. £55 a day. Probably. I don't even know if I want that to be profit or not. You know, like, I don't know whether I want it, just like a general, here you go, I made £55 a day for 365 days. In fact, this year is 366, is it? Because it's a leap year. I don't know, I feel dumb. <laughs> I feel dumb, it's like midnight. Um. So, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, but I did like make a little sign and put it in my outhouse saying make £55 a day. And that is a little bit of motivation for me to get off my arse and do some listings and stuff. Um, and I think tomorrow I am going charity shopping. So there will be a charity shop haul coming out this January. Um, I am so excited to go charity shop shopping. I've not been, it, not been for a few weeks, I think. Then my itching. I need to go. <laughs> um, so yeah. Well done if you have done this far, 25 minute video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can check out my previous video of me reviewing my 2019 goals. Um, this eyeshadow makes me look like a hooker. <laughs> it's like a it's like a rose gold coppery thing. So yeah. Um, don't forget to subscribe, you can comment below, um, let me know some of your goals, what are your goals, you know, personal, whether you've got some sort of like big birthday you're wanting to celebrate, let me know what you want to achieve this year, it'd be really nice to see and we can all be a nice little community together and push each other to do the best we possibly can and to get the most out of 2020 and a new decade. Um, so happy new year, I hope you have a really, really great one. Um, and I hope you have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye.